Katie's Kingdom. I am here in our room at Bay Lake Tower at the Walt Disney World Resort with a haul video for you from everyone's favorite place, the Disney Character Warehouse. We went a few days ago uh, to the iDrive Character Warehouse location uh, right before we got to Disney World. So we were in Universal for a uh, a night and on our way out of the Universal area we stopped at the outlet and I'll show you what we got we got some great bargains there and uh, got a lot of stuff I'm not quite sure how I'll fit it in our luggage but we're gonna find a way and that's another reason I wanted to film it now before I take everything out of its package and squeeze it in every little nook and cranny in our suitcase it was also really nice to do the character warehouse first before we even got to the park because that sort of curbed my uh, shopping impulse at the parks although I will show you the few things that I did get at the parks and I apologize for the maybe less than ideal lighting and uh, angle but I'm doing this real quick before we go back to Epcot for the night we spent the day in Epcot having a little break and uh, the maid service housekeeping service to our room so i thought it's kind of now or never to film this video so here we go uh the first thing i'm going to show you is this frozen pillow it is gorgeous and perfect for the holiday season as well as just the winter time season so i was really excited when i saw this because i love holiday and uh seasonal items in my home and this was originally $27.99 in the parks and it was $10.99 uh, at the outlet. And it's super cute. It's like, it's like a sweater sort of. But you can use it on either side. One side has Elsa and one side has Anna and Sven. And I just love it. I actually wanted to buy two for my couch but uh, I was running out of space and money. So we got one which will be awesome and I'll find a great place to put it. The next thing was something that Justin got, and he is the one that basically gets the least amount of uh, souvenirs usually because he's very discerning, especially about um, clothing, but he really also likes wearing Disney clothing uh, in his life. So this was a really great find. It's this beautiful quarter zip pullover. And on it, it has Expedition Everest Summit Team. It's very like subtle. And on the uh, side here, it has patches from um, from the mountain and some cute little design there. But unless you were really a Disney fan, you probably wouldn't even know uh, where this came from. It doesn't scream Disney, so it's it's really neat. It also fits them really well. It was sixty six ninety five at the parks. And it was at the outlet for $24.99. So that was a great purchase for him. And I know he's going to get a lot of wear out of it. Okay, the next thing is a clothing item for Jackson that we already wore. And I had a shirt similar to this. And I picked this up for Jackson because it was like mine. And also uh, the all over Mickey. And we wore them to Mickey's Chef Mickey's breakfast to meet Mickey and friends. And it's super cute. This is kind of a, a new style to have the character like all over design. It's sort of reminiscent of the shirts that you get in Tokyo Disney. I have one that looks very similar to this. And then I found this one at the outlet for $9.99. I'm not sure how much it was because I ripped the price tag off to put it on him the other day. But that was a really good price. And it looked super cute on him. And we got some really cute pictures with Mickey and the gang. The next thing we, I got was a t-shirt for me and it's this really adorable retro design Walt Disney World design with Mickey in the castle and it's um, on the back says 1971 back there it fits really nice it's very comfy and uh, I can wear this you know all the time under like a little cardigan either in the parks or just at home uh, it's not super in your face or bright or anything. I like how the colors are very subdued. It was $32.99 in the parks and it was $10.99 at the outlet. So I thought that was a really good buy. Super cute and I'll get a lot of use out of it. The next three things I went 
knowing that if I found them, I really wanted to buy them. Also knowing that uh, I was going to have a hard time getting them home, but I'm gonna find a way. If I have to carry them on in a bag, I'm going to do that. But I saw these um, last year when we were here for Christmas time and I really loved them, but there was just no feasible way of getting them home at that point. And also uh, I, don't, I didn't wanna pay full price because it would have gotten quite expensive but they were half price at the outlet. And it is this Hello. set of uh, kitchen items, serving items for Christmas. And this one is the butter dish. It's got flour on it. It's the cutest thing ever. I'm not gonna take it out of the box because I'll get um, styrofoam everywhere, but hopefully you can see what it looks like. And it's the, from last year. It was $24.99, it's now 12, it was now $12.99 at the outlet, and it had all three of the serving items. I also got the Bambi creamer. I'm just in love with these. I, I like I said, I love seasonal items and holiday Christmas stuff is just like my favorite. And I'm gonna have these out on my dining room table for the season and I'm also going to use them because we have a lot of um, dinners and things at Christmas time at our home. And this is the Thumper Gravy Boat which is my favorite of the three. Like how darn cute is that? Uh, all three of them were $12.99 a piece. They were $24.99. Oh this one was $26.99 when they sold it at the park. And like I said when we were here last year it was something I was just fawning over. Really really wanted them. And I'm so happy I found them at the outlet. Another thing we got was the thing that Jackson picked out as his toy for going shopping with us. And it's this Cruz Ramirez. And it is an RC car. And he's already taken it out of the box and played with it a lot in the room when we have downtime. I just took it from him because he's playing a video game with grandma and he didn't wasn't using it at the moment. But it's super cute, very small and uh, lightweight, easy to pour it around, but also like a great thing to keep him occupied in the room. We have the one bedroom suite, so we have the whole living room in the other room uh, with a ton of floor space. So he's been having a lot of fun with Cruz. And she was only $12.99, so that's pretty good. I don't know how much it was in the parks because we got rid of the packaging already. Next was something that is I tell myself that it's for Jackson, but it's definitely also for me, and he gets sick of these things pretty easily and kind of discards them and doesn't really play with them, uh, so I end up getting to put them in my collection, and it is this Safari Duffy. He is adorable. I'm a huge Duffy and Shelly Mae fan. I just love them. They're so snuggly. We have the big Duffy, but I thought this was super cute. It was $24.99 in the parks and obviously probably from Animal Kingdom and Duffy was $9.99 so that was quite a good deal and quite adorable he's got this really cute hat on and I just I love him I can't wait to put him in my Disney plush collection when Jackson uh, doesn't want him anymore <laughs> next is another Duffy thing there were quite a lot of Duffy items which made me so happy and this is something that's actually gonna be useful for us I like to bring a uh, little snuggly blanket on the airplane and this is this Duffy blanket and it's got this little Mickey over here just like Duffy would have on his bottom and it's so cute I just love it and it's snuggly the whole thing is just like a plush and it was also $9.99 so a fairly inexpensive item I feel like this is another one of those things that is very um, Tokyo Disney-esque I don't know if this came from Tokyo Disney or if they sold it here. Actually, the tag is all in um, either Japanese or Mandarin. So it either came from Hong Kong or Shanghai or Tokyo. I thought it was sort of an Asian type of um, merchandise and I just, I really love it. So I'm really happy we got this. And Jackson and I will share it on the airplane. And it folds up into like a little thing. So it's pretty portable. Next was another Jackson purchase. He is a huge fan of Muppet Babies, and so now he's a huge fan of Kermit. And this hat was really cute. It's way too big for him, but it 
he loved it and it's gonna come in handy in the cold buffalo winters so he's gonna wear this at home a lot it was $24.95 in the park probably at the uh, Muppet Show in Hollywood Studios and it was $4.99 so and it's a really nice quality knit hat and if he doesn't want to wear it I can wear it because it's actually uh, a women's size uh, it does fit Jackson, but it's big, but it would also fit me. The next, the next two things uh, we all were very excited about as a family because we're sort of crazy, and all three of us enjoy having our Duffy and Shelly Mae dressed up for each season. So right now, Duffy is wearing a Halloween vampire costume, and Shelly Mae is wearing an Aurora costume at home at our house, and we keep them in the living room in this little like bow thing we have. But these are perfect for the winter season, and it's Duffy Aloft which is also doubly perfect because we were just at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party this trip and Jackson was Olaf and we were the Frozen family. So this was like a good time to get this because every time we look at it, we'll think, oh, we bought this on the trip where Jackson was Olaf and he's so into Frozen right now. So this was so great to find. Uh, I just love dressing my Duffy up and my Shelly Mae and that's kind of weird, but it's something we really enjoy. And this was $9.99. I think it was more like, I don't think there's a tag, but I think it was definitely in the $20 to $30 range uh, in the parks. So, always like getting a good deal on my Duffy clothes, you know, important things in life. And then we also got this one for Shelly Mae, and it's Elsa. I mean, seriously, could there be anything better than Elsa, Shelly Mae, and Olaf Duffy in your house at winter time. Like, I, I don't think there's anything better. This was also $9.99. Let me see if I can tell you what the price was. No, it doesn't, it actually doesn't say. That's too bad. But I know it was expensive, and I cannot wait to get these home and dress up my bears for Christmas time and winter time in general. Also, side note, like I had Duffy way before Jackson was born and I got Shelly Mae when he was a baby, so they're actually mine, but he has taken Duffy as his own and tells me that Shelly Mae is mine because she's the girl, so uh, he has taken ownership of these and we just love having them in our house as a family. Next, I got another seasonal thing and this is for summertime for the 4th of July. It's the uh, little headband from the 4th of July collection this past year that was $14.99 when it was in the parks and I got it for $4.99. This style headband is really popular right now amongst, at least amongst the Disney sort of community. A lot of people on Etsy are making these and I bought one and it's super cute on. And it's just nice to keep the hair out of your face and also just a nice Disney accessory. And this one has little tiny Mickey's in the pattern oh. this one has little tiny Mickey's in the pattern and it's just adorable and I will wear this on the 4th of July I don't care if I'm at home if I'm not anywhere near Disney I will totally wear this and love it next I got something that's gonna go on my gallery wall when I finally finish it and it's this Wonderground gallery postcard with Snow White scary adventures on it we were just in Disneyland for Pixar Fest and I passed this one up because I got the uh, Mr. Toad one and I, so I have the Mr. Toad at home. Now I have Snow White Scary Adventures. I got it for $1.99 and it's just super cute and I'm excited to add that to my Disney art collection. I'm making a gallery wall in one of my rooms at home and this is going to go perfectly in there. We also got this 2018 antenna topper. Uh, for 99 cents. I don't know. It was something that Jackson wanted and uh, we don't have an antenna on our car, but whoop, there it goes. Uh, we can put this on a shelf or something. It was just 99 cents and he wanted it. So we got it. Why not? I also got Jackson these socks. They were 9.99 in the parks and they were 2.99 at the outlet and they say on the bottom, fish are friends, not food. They're Nemo sharks. He has the um, toe mater socks that he wears all the time in the winter. They fit him great and they're super cute. 
Well, that's all we got from the outlet, all we got. I mean, I'm surrounded by merchandise, so it was, it was a big haul, uh, and we got some great deals. It should be noted that you cannot use your um, annual pass discount at the outlet, but still the prices are so discounted that it still ends up being a great, great deal. You also end up buying more things because everything's cheap, so you probably won't spend any less money if you don't have uh, much self-control when it comes to Disney merchandise like me, but you'll get a ton of bang for your buck. So we had a great time shopping, and if we have the time, we're gonna just pop into the Vineland outlet if we can um, later on in our trip. So before I go, I'll show you the few items that we did get in the parks for full price, which we used our annual pass discount on for all of them. And it did curb my buying, my purchasing to have already done the outlet. So I recommend if you're go if you have the time in your trip to do the outlet first because it will help you say, no, I don't need this thing. I already have all this stuff to pack in my suitcase and I'm not gonna have room. But one thing I knew I wanted to get when I came here was this Walt Disney World Cinderella Castle Otter Box for my new phone. I just got the iPhone XS and it's the same size as the X so this will fit my new iPhone and it was sold out online and I knew that if I saw it, if I came across it in the park, I was going to get it. I did find it in Disney Springs last night and it was quite expensive but it's a really good quality. I mean, otter boxes are expensive. So it was $54.99. I was able to use my annual pass for $11 off. So with tax, it came to $46.85. But it's one of the, you know, otter boxes. It's got drop protection and it's going to keep my phone safe. And it's super, super cute. And I just love it. And I'm going to use it every day. The other night when we were in the hotel store, we got a few odds and ends for our kitchen here, snacks and milk for Jackson, and I grabbed this mug. Another thing that I have seen on Instagram and things and knew that if I came across, I wanted to get it. It says, boo to you, and it's a Mickey ghost. And I knew I wanted this because I wanted it to commemorate the fact that we went to Mickey's Not So Scary. And I also wanted to use it while I was here to have a cute mug to drink tea in. I also got this box of Twining's assorted teas. And I've been drinking one every night before I go to bed. That's something I just picked up recently and been have been doing at home uh, just to kind of wind down. It's been nice to have uh, tea before bed. This has two um, night kind of varieties and then two that you can drink anytime. Uh, orange and cinnamon spice and pomegranate and raspberry and then it has the nightly calm and the pure chamomile. And it's been so fun to end the night with my super cute mug and my nice tea. And I've really been enjoying that. The mug was $19.99 and the tea was $5.95. We also used our annual pass discount on that. Uh, one thing that Jackson got was this Kermit Muppet Baby plush. Like I said, he's obsessed with Muppet Babies and this is just adorable. It's the only Muppet Baby merchandise I think that you can get. I've never seen Muppet Baby merchandise like at home in stores or anything, but I knew they were um, selling this in the Muppet store outside the um, Muppet 3D movie in Hollywood Studios and he and Karen went to the movie and then I told Karen that I had um, wanted to get him this so she picked this up and gave it right to him. I don't know how much it costs because um, she bought it and then she gave it right to him but he calls it his travel buddy and he has been loving him and taking him with him uh, in the car and the parks and stuff and so yeah he's super soft and cuddly and we love him. He's going to be a great part of our collection at home. The last thing that I got so far, we're about halfway through our trip, so I can't promise this will be the last thing that I get, but um, this was something we found last night at the World of Disney. We popped in right before it closed, and we just happened to be there the, the evening that they put out the new Mouseketeer merchandise, which is just came out, I think, yesterday, and this was something that we thought was really cool, Justin and I. Um, it comes in this beautiful box. It's a limited item to 2000 This gorgeous Mouseketeer ear hat ornament in gold. 
It is so pretty. We thought this is probably going to be one of those things that we would regret not buying if we just passed by it and it's probably one of those things that is going to sell out and we just happened to be there right when they had a bunch of in stock. It says 1955 on the back and I'm not only going to put this on my Christmas tree but I'm going to leave this out all year and I think it's just really beautiful. And like I said, it's a limited edition item and uh, there's only 2,000 of them. So it was $34.99 and then we used the annual pass to get $7 off. So that's it. That is my fall haul from our October trip to Walt Disney World at the Character Warehouse and in the parks thus far. I hope you enjoyed it. I always enjoy seeing what people grab from the warehouse and um, it's fun to see how things change in the warehouse because I know depending on what time of year you go, there's always different stuff and you just never know what you're going to get, which I find super fun. So that's it. We're going to go head back to Epcot and enjoy the rest of our vacation. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great time too. And if you're at the character warehouse, I'd love to hear about what you've gotten lately. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.